Hello everyone, it's Mike here from a Player One Ready. This is my second FIFA 17 Ultimate Team review. This one is of the on-form severe striker Luciano Vietti. Uh, in 10 games for me, on the P uh, he has 14 goals and 6 assists, and available around 20,000 coins on the PS4. Uh, straight into his uh, in-game stats, I think, first of all. Uh, he actually has some very, very impressive ones. Uh, uh, underneath that 84 shot, so he's got 80 acceleration, 80, uh, 76 sprint speed, 89 positioning, 88 finishing. 80 long shots, 87 volleys, 85 short passing, 89 curve, 79 vision, 81 agility, 90 balance, 84 reactions, 88 ball control, 89 dribbling. Uh, he also has 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, uh, high low attacking work rates and uh, he has a technical dribbler trait. So he's got all the ingredients for a brilliant centre forward. The first stat I'm going to get into is his passing. Uh, short passing, as I say, of 85 is top notch. He will never misplace a pass for you. Uh, along with 79 vision, he will find the passes that you want to find, and uh, usually and will will complete them. Even though even in 70, uh, 76, well, sorry, it's like 63 long passing, it still seems decent. That ball there through to Correa was good. This one I don't know why I cut it out, but it also made it through, but I didn't score. It's a poor finish. Uh, again, it's a decent ball through. Again, there he puts Correa through, and I should be scoring that and getting more than six assists. Here, it's a nice, nicely weighted ball out to Correa, and I should be doing better than that. Or maybe Correa should with his 81 finishing, but there we go. Lovely ball out there to Sanchez, and he will unlock defences very, very easily. His passing, for me, w was brilliant. He never misplaced one, or when he did, it was me being silly and going for something far too audacious. That's a great ball there to Correa, and it's a nice finish from him. Uh, to get the assist and got me a goal back in that game. Another great ball out to Correa. Should be scoring that, but didn't, unfortunately. And he's just a very, very... The way to pass uh, is, is top. Um, and it's something you would look for in a centre-forward. That's why I put him in centre-forward. I wanted to optimise that that 85 short passing. Uh, the, the 79 vision, although not, not a Xavi or Iniesta-like, obviously, it's still, still very, very, very impressive. And he did get... You know, six assists, and he should have had more. Had my finishing uh, with with Correa been up to scratch, gets a nice assist here for fantastic Alexi Sanchez, uh, half volley, and I was very pleased with that goal. I will, I can't stress this enough that you need to play him in centre forward because that passing you can't really afford to be to be not using it. Coupled with his very very high dribbling, which is uh, 88 on on card, uh, you really need to be you know you need to be using him there and getting. So to create chances because he can and that's what he's brilliant at alongside finishing which is what I'm going to get into next uh, after this goal so finishing wise uh, 89 positioning 88 finishing two stats which okay that's his shite you know, that's his three star weak foot not, not doing great there and he should be scoring but and that 88 finishing is, is superb uh, he he scored most of the time and when he didn't it was through my fault for going for something that was the wrong type of finish that movement there the 89 mo 89 movement tap positioning is classed you know making that be able to give that reverse through ball away and uh, be able to just roll it past the keeper far stick is, is quality penalties he's only you know he's got 74 but they're pretty bog standard to score the way he turns Gary Cahill there and that's a lovely finish into the far corner so with 75 shot power you don't have to blast it because he's got that 88 finishing that just means you're just going to roll it and you know roll it calmly past the keeper and it's very easy to do uh, this card really is a bargain because for 20k 88 finishing and 89 movement that is what that that is a you know that is top striking there. That is what you want, uh, especially in a centre forward role where he can play one twos. He's very good at that. This is my favourite goal I score with him. He hasn't got a lot of power in it, but it's high into the top left hand corner. And that is a great finish. And yes, sir, you can dab for that. You deserve to dab for that goal. I, will. I have a dabbing problem on FIFA. I'm sorry, but again, it's it's another penalty, and he did score. I think it was three or four penalties for me. And <laughs> if I'm honest with you, I didn't. I, I wasn't playing brilliantly with this team, but Vieta was definitely the stand the, the standout of the show. I mean, the movement there, you know, stay on, he stays on. He never, he's never offside. But obviously, that, that attacking positioning that we talked about, he, you know, again there, not not a lot of shot power. Just to roll it, can't be past the keeper. It's in the far corner. He's not saving that. This one stays on, stays on side well. First time, calm finish into the bottom corner. Which most of my goals, I didn't really put put his foot through it. You don't really need to. You just need to roll it calmly past him. And I say 89 curve, so his finesse shot's pretty good as well. 
But he was in a chance where all he has to do is just put it, you know, just roll it past the keeper. I didn't have to do anything else other than that. I didn't need to try and curve it around f like three players into the top corner. Never had to try because he was always in position to just calmly slot home. He's, he, you won't score spectacular goals with him, but you'll score a lot of goals with him. You know, he'll score the one on ones, he'll score the, the the little plays that you do, you know, off the pair. Off the that is a great line to stay on side. It's a fantastic first touch as well. Stops Butland dead, and he's not saving that. Again, here, you know, it's nice dribbling with that 88 dribbling. You know, you can ro roll past defenders really comfortably and not give them a, not give them a chance. And this 76 uh, sprint speed 80 acceleration, it's not brilliant. But he's got the positioning to be there, you know, be there easily. That one was lucky. It's actually going, it's actually going into the opposite corner, and his defender gets a gets a block on and sends it the wrong way. But he's got it on target to start with, and we'll take it. It's a nice goal. Uh, as I say, dribbling and first touch now, uh, brilliant. Uh, so he's got, you know, <laughs> 88 dribbling on his card. So you know it's going to be spectacular. But it's not just his dribbling. He, you know, he doesn't just keep it close to his body and away from the defense. 89 dribbling, 88 ball control. That 90 balance as well. He's actually quite difficult to get off the ball. And it's not because he's strong. He's not. He's got 61 strength. But it's just his balance. He he stays, you know, he's got low sense of gravity. He stays up well. And he doesn't get pushed off with it. That's a good first touch on a penalty there. Tries to chip it up for the volley. And wins it off uh, Sergio Ramos. And it's a really impressive centre forward card. He's got everything you need for that positioning. Good dribbling to take on a few defenders before the final pass that you can do with that 85 ball control, uh, 85 short passing, like that one, which should be scoring. Uh, he's also got the finishing. If you are going to dribble past players and go one on one, he will do be able to do that as well. Easy, no problem. Uh, he he really has got he really has got it all. The one thing, two things he can't do is you know his strength's a bit crap and his and his. Uh, Heading is, is is shite, but other than that, brilliant, brilliant dribbling, uh, sort of very easy to change direction. So, overall rating, five star, especially for that price, absolute bargain. Uh, agility, dribbling, first touch, all brilliant, finishing, uh, and his positioning, all top class, uh, and a four star skill moves is a joy. Only two weaknesses, strength and heading, which you expect from a five for eight striker. If you like this review, please watch out for more, and like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, see you next time.